Adams and I design luxury closets. My celebrity clients trust me to create beautiful, well-organized spaces for all of their fabulous things. Subscribe for closet tours, DIY tips, and a behind-the-scenes look at LA's most glamorous closet makeovers. And check out my blog, Closet File, for more. Enjoy the video! I'm obsessed with closets. I even have one on set of my shoes. Those are all my real shoes. Uh, and we, we like to have, I've just always been fascinated with fashion, even back in the day when I was shopping in consignment stores. And now, today, I have someone very special here, Lisa Adams, who has designed closets for celebs like Reese Witherspoon, Fergie, and the Kardashians. And she's here to take us inside the freshest closets Woo! in America. Y'all make some noise for Lisa. How you doing? Good. You looking fly. Thank you. Fresh. As always now, Lisa, closets are no longer just about storage, right? These right. are like people's showrooms. Like they get out there, they get outrageous. The designs are next level. I mean, what's the most outrageous design you've ever had requested for a closet? <laughs> Ready for this one? All right, what you got? A stripper pole. Yeah. <laughs> that, why are you telling all my business on the show? And it's Nick's closet. <laughs> no, I mean, that's I'm okay. That's pretty outrageous. But I can understand, especially if you're in the, the we'll, we'll call it a, a pole dancing, if, if that's your art. Right. If that's your if ministry. If that's your hobby. Yeah, if that's what you do, <laughs> I'm not judging it. You need to always put into practice. <laughs> you need to make sure them seven-inch heels are working the way you want it to work. <laughs> yeah. I understand. That's a good thing, though. So let, let's take a look at some of the wildest walk-in wardrobes uh, you created. And let's start with the Kardashians. Okay. Tell me about Chloe's closet. You know, with Chloe, Chloe's fitness is part of her daily lifestyle. So what better way to get motivated than to have your own dedicated closet for workout clothing and gear? Yeah, I mean, that's why, too. Shouts out to Chloe. I, I, love, I love her journey. Yeah. That's color-coordinated, all of that. Now, tell us about <laughs> Kris Jenner. So in Chris's closet, I created a glam space that includes Hermes wallpaper on the ceiling. Wow. A mirrored island. That's next level. And even antique mirror backs on our shoe display. Not the Hermes <laughs> wallpaper. I see. That's, that's fly. Now, next up, friend of the family, Tyra Banks. Yep. Now, you did a supermodel's closet. Tell me about Tyra's closet. I, I really want to know what's going on in Tyra's closet. <laughs> <laughs> How she styles her shoes. Absolutely. Um, so in Tyra's, she wanted to keep it modern, so I created floating shelves that wrap the corners to achieve this look. And you can see with the boot trees hanging uh, and storage. So we've got hanging jewelry as well as jewelry in glass top displays. That's fly. <laughs> what, what's it smell like in Tyra's? <laughs> That's what you want to know. Is floral? Is it floral? Nice. Uh, we'll nice. talk later. Nice. All right. Finally, there's a, a woman in Texas who claims to have the biggest and most over-the-top closet in America. Teresa Romers is... Her closet is three stories for real? Three stories. Wow. And it's built to look like a department store. I had to see it for myself, so she gave us a tour. Take a look. Hey Nick, welcome to the world's largest closet. So as you know, my closet has always been known as the world's largest closet. It's 3,000 square feet and it's three floors. On the first floor, you will find nothing but purses, jewelry, sunglasses. Everything that you need, everything, like I said, is behind glass doors so that I can see it. Of course, I also have drawers that have other types of jewelry in them that are just thrown in here, not very organized. And so this is my Hermes area of the closet. Just like in the store, you have to use your little tool to grab the item and bring it down. So let's go upstairs and check out the second floor. So everything happens here. You've got a champagne bar where we sit and drink champagne and giggle and talk and have fun. I do have a vast, vast shoe collection. I'm addicted to shoes. This is a spot where I like to curl up and read a good book. And then you get into all of my clothes. Pants, suits, dresses, evening gowns, it goes on and on and on. We still have one more floor to go. So we're gonna take this set of stairs and we're going to the third floor. So let's go. 
I've got seasonal items that I don't wear as often and that's why I keep them up here on the third floor. Every girl has to have a giant hat. So Nick, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the world's largest closet. Wow. See, and you thought having the pole in the closet, she got a whole <laughs> bar in the closet. Wow, that, that was pretty amazing. Um, I gotta get, I came, I came front, that was fly. I was impressed. Adams, who has designed closets for everyone from Reese Witherspoon to the Kardashians. Woo! Yeah, she's a big deal. And now she's here to show us how to get a celeb-worthy closet in your own home for under a hundred dollars. <laughs> One Benjamin can get it done. Uh, now, Lisa, you have designed closets for so many different celebs. Uh, what do they all have in common? You know, they all are Glamorous spaces right. that are multifunctional. And let's start with this one. I mean, it's getting creative with color. So in uh -huh. a lot of celebrity closets, you'll see gold, you'll see brass. And so here, we've got the brass knob. Um, gold symbolizes richness and luxury. So, you know, I like right. to paint silver hardware gold so we can do it right here. So you want me to just go ahead and just <laughs> get to it? Get your brush. Oh, okay, I'll, get, I'll start tagging stuff up. <laughs> But, so, because uh, I'm not good at like this See, type. See, look at this. See, you're, you're nice with it. I'm... But just to change out your silver knobs to brass knobs. I'm making oh a mess. I'm making a mess. <laughs> but this, I, I see the idea, but I'm, I'm right? making a mess. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's move on. It's going to get messy. But to, to make it go really inexpensive, having fun with color. Right. And, also, lighting. Lighting is extremely important, right? Tell me what it's we got here. It's so important. And you can, you know, these affordable options, so you can add battery-operated puck lights and hanging rods mm -hmm. that really are affordable, 5 to $10, and right. it really creates that wow factor. Yeah. So, and press. Just accentuate. <laughs> let, it let, it, let it shine. Let it shine. <laughs> let it bling out. I love that. And then uh, right here, now, showcasing the shoes. Obviously, that's what I love to do. And you yep. have an a inexpensive, practical way to go about this. Right. Thing. So in Tyra's closet, for example, you yes, know, just... Tell me about Tyra's <laughs> closet. <laughs> <I tell you? laughs> so you see there where the heels are front, back, front, in. And it's a really great styling tip. And it also saves space on the shelves. Nice. That's smart, right, y'all? Don't cost no money. Just display your shoes. And then, what do, we, what do we have here? So, for ankle boots and tall boots, I'll give you this. Wow. Um, but we you going can, swimming? <laughs> you can cut up an old pool noodle okay. and put it in your boot to act as a boot tree. Oh. So, I'll let you try that right, here. I'm here, I'm going to mess something else up. <laughs> but you can Just see here. Put the, put the noodle Put the noodle in the in boot. Yeah. <laughs> so, sounds a little risque. <laughs> Stick the noodle in the boot. <laughs> Stands up. All right. I love it. I did. Tyra put noodles in her boot. <laughs> okay, okay. Shit. We won't say that. But nothing. these are great. You can find them at any discount store for less than a dollar each. That's awesome. I love it. You know what? Since, since we're talking shoe closets and secrets and stuff, you know my <laughs> secret in my shoe closet? Yes. Because when you have a lot of shoes, sometimes the closet can smell like an old school gymnasium. <laughs> you know, like with so many shoes and stuff. And you know, if you're gonna be fresh, you got to smell fresh. Woo! Bam! <laughs> yeah! I, this is no joke. Woo! I put car air fresheners in my closet, and I like the new car smell right there. The new car smells good. <laughs> or the black ice. The black ice one is. The pines. Y'all know about the black ice. <laughs> like the black ice, yeah. You put that in your shoe closet, it smells great. And you gotta look, if, if y'all want some, I got the Nick Cannon uh, air fresheners for the car and the closet. <laughs> Black ice. All right, what do we have here? <laughs> so keeping things tidy. So sweaters, sweatshirts, t-shirts. So great way is to board fold. So let me just show you. You want to keep the t-shirt. I need one of these. I'm horrible at this type of stuff. But you know, something like this where You've got that. So it just folds it for you. It kind of folds it for you. Y'all seen these before? Yeah. 
It, it'll make it look like it's at the store. And then, voila. Wow. So you try. I need one. Of, wait, you. You try. I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not good at this, Lisa. <laughs> like, all right. You just go like that. Yep. It's like, like playing tic tac toe. <laughs> Why are you already laughing? There, one more piece. For more information, uh, take your closet to the next level. Go to nickcannonshow.com.